Hey there, uh, today I'm going to show you in this video how to use the Teacher Access Center to uh, generate an Outlook mailing list for parents of your students. Uh, I find this extremely helpful to use Outlook to do emails to my parents because I find that the email management system from Teacher Access Center is uh, awkward and somewhat poor and I really think Outlook does a much better job of writing, editing, keeping track of sent items, and just giving you an archive of your email. So I prefer to do it that way. So this is how you use Teacher Access Center to get that Outlook mailing list started. Um, so I've already written the email. If you come up here, you probably know this under Class Management. You go into Emails. You can select which classes to send to. I've sent one to my 8th grade orchestra because we have a uh, field trip coming up. And so I've given the information to that, but I know I've got other things that I'm going to have to send just to 8th grade orchestra parents. So I'm going to take that email and generate an Outlook contact group so I can do all of my future emailing to that group of parents through Outlook. So what I've got is down here in the reports, it saves all of your emails. It saves them alphabetically, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click Date Twice because it initially sorts them backwards by time and I want it forwards by time. And here's the email I just wrote. Eighth grade orchestra field trip and concert coming right up. So I'm going to open this up. Okay, so here it is. And what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to take this, be able to take this list of names and email addresses and uh, port it over into Outlook. But there's a few steps in there. First, I've got to download this because it only really kind of works through the desktop version of Acrobat Reader. Uh, so I've got to get it over into there. So I've made a folder where I'm going to put this. Let me uh, work my way over to it. It's in the Elkins Orchestra, Curriculum, Emails. I'm going to stick it in this folder and I'm going to call this 8th Grade Parent email. They call it that and it's going to download it over here. I'm going to yeah I've already got that folder open so over here I'm done. Pretty much at this point I am done with Teacher Access Center so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, I'm going to open this up and it's going to open it in the desktop version of Acrobat Reader which is really important. It works much better through the desktop version of uh, Acrobat Reader. So you can see here I've got a list of parent names, email addresses, and the word guardian following every single one of them. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is select all this, and here's where it makes such a difference to have the desktop version. The online version of Reader doesn't select nearly as well, so I'm going to scroll down here until I get to the end. I'm going to Control c copy that, and I'm going to come over to Microsoft Word, and I'm just going to open a new blank document. I'm going to paste that list into Microsoft Word. And now I've got a couple of steps to be able to make it so I can pop this into Outlook. Primarily, I need to get rid of all of this Guardian stuff. So you'll notice over here I have my hidden characters visible, which is very important. First thing is you've got to get rid of all of these paragraph marks that are sitting here. Um, so what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to control H which brings up the find and replace dialog box that's control H and I'm gonna to have to find all of my paragraph marks to get to that I'm gonna go down to more special paragraph mark and it'll put that uh, carrot P in there which stands in for the paragraph mark I want to replace that with a single space There's space replace all 51 replacements and close this up you come back here now and you can see that uh, you know, the lines flow. So I got rid of all of that, and that's the first important step. The next step is I've got to get rid of everywhere where it says dash guardian. And you see here that with the hidden characters shown, it shows me my spaces. I've got to get rid of those spaces. So I'm going to select the word guardian. Oop, I don't want that last little greater than sign. There it is. So I've got space dash space guardian selected. I'm going to control C and I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to go back to control H which brings my find and replace back. I'm going to control V place, uh, paste and that puts my space dash space guardian. 
down here and replace with there is a space I don't want that space so I'm going to just delete that backward and make sure there's nothing there so I'm taking this and replacing it with nothing basically it's going to automatically delete all of those I'm going to replace all um, yeah I'll continue searching 71 replacements done with that and now what you have is I have parent name parent email address semicolon parent name parent email address semicolon all the way through my entire eighth grade orchestra yeah, parent list which in this case is two class periods combined um, so now what I've done what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this I'm going to drag it down I'm going to select all this stuff down here to the end I'm going to copy now once I've got that copied I'm going to come over here to uh, Microsoft Outlook and I've got my uh, people tab selected down here so I'm in my contacts and I'm going to come up here to home and I'm going to do a new contact group okay so now I've got a new contact group up here I'm going to go ahead and give it a name eighth grade orchestra parents and I'm going to add members from Outlook contacts is fine and now what I'm going to do is I've got up here a list of anybody in my contacts or whatever you picked up this stuff up here really doesn't even matter uh, what I want to do is come down here to the members list and I'm going to control V paste it's taken that entire document which is parent email parent name parent email address semicolon and the next one I'm gonna hit OK and it populates my contact list here with the parent name over here on the left their email address over here on the right I'm going to save and close and here it is eighth grade orchestra parents so I can right click on this um, create email and there it is and then I can take this and I'll usually drop this down to uh, there we go blind copy I always do a blind copy when I send this out but there it goes now my entire eighth grade orchestra parent list is in here and I can send my email through Outlook it'll save copies in my sent email folder uh, much easier to get back to much easier to archive and just to keep track of everything that I've done for sending emails to parents uh, so if you would find something like this useful uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you and enjoy